And Tarot Star, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kyle Aris, and we're back on, uh, <laughs> what is it? It's Lost Temple, and it's Duck Lodera versus Daimaga in the BlizzCon best of, I assume it's the best of three series, um, uh, in one of the losers brackets, yes, and this is subject to me wanting to be better at PvZ. Uh, I probably could have found some better replays for PvZ-esque action, but you know, it doesn't get much better than Duck Load Raw, uh, aka White Raw, versus Daimaga, so yeah. And then after this, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you what basically happens when I ladder and uh, what I'm currently resorting to against Zerg. Uh, and bear in mind the, the uh, replay that I have to show people is not the best uh, demonstration of my macro at all. I think I'm pretty sure I do let my money get a bit higher or whatever, but it's it's pretty much me just winging uh, a build uh, and a, ta a strategy that I've seen in practice before, but not actually practiced until I actually tried it out on ladder like one or two times. So yeah, again, bear in mind when it comes to my replay, I've only tried it one or two times. So bleh. yeah. So if you're gonna flame me or whatever, screw you. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we do see White Ra doing very, very standard build here, and Probe going to be moving up to the one o'clock position, see, or two o'clock position, depending on how you look at it. Going to be seeing that it is cross positions, having a look around here, and seeing that there's no expansion currently up. Going to be moving up here and seeing that there is a spawning pool and extractor going up pretty quickly. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a. 13 or 14, I'm not entirely sure, but I didn't look at the time, sorry about that. And we do see a few probes being chrono boosted out for White Ra, as well as that extractor and the pylon just to keep ahead of the game. I imagine we'll be seeing a Cybernetics core pretty soon. Uh, this probe is rallied over there. Very nice timing on this probe, going to be coming out instantly and as soon as he reaches... No. What? What's he done? He's made something. Ah, he's made a pylon up at the base of... Uh, 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 Daimaga going to be preventing that expansion as quickly as possible, but we do see a few Zerglings coming out in order to be able to fend off this pylon. So again, very nice by White Ra here, trying to prevent that expansion for as long as possible. And uh, it seems like we do see Metabolic Boost coming out for Daimaga. Very, very standard play here at this point in time. And I just... I. Ugh. Again, if you haven't watched the previous videos, this is why I'm casting these. I really have a problem with Zerg as Protoss, and I really just want to see what some good Protoss players do against Zerg. So this is that's the whole reasoning behind that. So we do see this Cybernetics Core is out now, and he's researching warp gates as quickly as possible. This expansion has gone down for Daimaga, and he is going to be moving across the map with a few Zerglings in order to be able to get some intel as well, maybe able to, as well as maybe put on some early pressure. And we do see a second assimilator going down for White Ra, as well as that Sentry is going to be popping out anytime soon in order to be able to catch some Zerglings. And we do see now a second gateway going down for White Ra as well. Keeping on top of his energy with that queen there. These Zerglings going to be poking up a bit, getting a few pot shots off on this gateway, but it's not going to prove too, too much effect as that sentry is going to come out soon and fend these off pretty easily. So now Damag is going to be forced to retreat with these ever so slightly. He's going to position them here just to make sure he can see when White Rat is going to be moving out. And we do see another gateway coming down for Damaga. Uh, Daimaga, White Ra. They both start with D at the moment, so I'm getting really tongue tied. And, and it seems like White Ra at this point really favours this kind of three gate into expansion play against um, Zerg. So it's 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 good to know that if, if we're in a learning stance and we're really wanting to learn something from a pro player, uh, we can see the three gate expansion is something that uh, White Ra favours a lot over the Zerg player. So we do see now a pretty fast layer coming out for Daimega. He's pretty confident with his map control at this point. These Zerglings are giving uh, Daimega, uh, White Ra, a hard time in moving out and controlling the map. These Zerglings are just currently controlling the map entirely for Daimega. And we do see now a few more sentries warping in for White Ra. He's going to be moving out, trying to take these out, throwing down this pylon in a forward position, and then no doubt, yes, going to be throwing down that expansion. So. What we've learned from these three games is, as I said before, three gate into expansion seems like what could be a viable tactic against Zerg uh, if he does actually pull this off. 
<laughs> so we do see a few spines now being thrown down for Daimage. He realizes that this push could be quite effective since he doesn't have that many Zerglings and he's wanting to throw down these spines in order to be able to fend this off quite effectively. And indeed it would do had uh, White Rat actually moved out at this point. So now he just does have he has his expansion up and he's going to be throwing a forge down at the front of his base as well. Um, and uh, quite a few sentries out here, very nice uh, use of sentries just in case we do see a lot of zergling coming, zerglings coming in. Uh, he'd be able to force field them pretty effectively and kind of contain them. And we do see now a spire going down for Daimaga. So this is, this is where it gets juicy. This is where we need to focus and learn. If this spire goes down and these mutalisks give White Rat an amazingly hard time, then we know that... Uh, then we can watch White Ra and see what he actually does at this point. So we do see plus one weapons being upgraded pretty early on in the game for White Ra. It's good to keep on top of these upgrades and hell, it, it, in essence if you've got a big ground force it upgrades, you know, it upgrades their potential exponentially because the more you get then the more benefit um, it ultimately, you know, brings out. This is obvious stuff, I'm just pointing out for the sake of clarity etc etc. So, a nice spotting overlord here for Daimaga. He can see everything that's going on at this point down here, and it seems like there's going to be a run by of these Zerglings whilst these units do come up here, but with five and uh, soon to be seven spine crawlers up here, it's going to be very hard for White Rat to actually do anything at this point. Some Zerglings running past, going to be having a look around, trying to get on these probes. These probes are probably going to want to engage at the same time as this. Um, they do get one probe kill there, and a second probe kill, probably a third probe kill, yes. So these zealot um, sentries have kind of fended that off pretty nicely and as you can see here these stalkers are trying to pick off, uh, they did pick off one spine but and then yeah, I'm pretty sure that a few of zealots actually did go down at that point so it wasn't a very good engagement for White Ra. And we can see a Nidus Worm actually going down as well as the Spire coming up. Um, although the spike has just finished and now I imagine there's going to be some muters on the field anytime soon. He has got three muters in production. He's going to probably want to get some more muters out as well in order to be able to do effective harass. And we do see plus two weapons now going up for White Ra. A few stalkers in the back of the base as well in order to be able to make sure that he can handle any muter harassment that he does see coming. And this Nidus Worm is going to pose quite a big threat actually if he can get a good Nidus um, in the back of the base of White Ra. And it seems like there's a Nidus already going down. Where is that Nidus? Oh, he's expanding with the Nidus. Very, very clever play there by um, Daimaga. As you can see here, he's going to be expanding to a. Um, he's going to be grabbing his second expansion in a uh, on an island, so it's going to be very unnoticeable by White Rat at this point. Although White Rat does have a Robo Bay going up, and it seems like he could have an Observer swing around there. Although I doubt he'll be swinging around there. He just wants to see probably the tech that's going on in this base, and we do see an Overseer morphing in as well. And it does seem that White Rat is also grabbing a second expansion as well. So good timing on that second expansion. Good game sense. Although, oh my god, Daimaga going for a third expansion as well on this um, second island. Really nice play there by Daimaga. It's uh, always very good. Um, if you can get to those islands by just, you know, grabbing the island expansions, that's a really good play there. And we do see Blink coming out for uh, White Rat as well. Although that being said... There is the potential that Daimaga could potentially, 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 in the world of theor theoretical knowledge, uh, could be committing too much to a double expansion, and uh, White Rock could hell just gather up a shit ton of units and go and smash the front, although I don't think that's going to be happening at this point as the muters are swinging around to take out this second expansion of White Ra. And we don't have Blink up just yet, so he's going to have a hard time fending off these. They are coming around now, and this is the problem that you always face as Protoss. These frigging Mutalisks coming around, picking off all your probes, and uh, you really need Stalker coverage in pretty much every spot in order to be able to deal with this. So now it seems like these muters are going to be giving a lot of harassment to um, White Ra at this point. And White Ra doing a very nice job actually here of spreading these stalkers out. Um, he's not too worried about putting stalkers in this base right now as the muters would need to swing all the way around the top edge of uh, White Ra's bases as opposed to the bottom edge since they would be pick, uh, caught off guard by these uh, stalkers here. And we do see now a lot of uh, Zerglings reinforcing and we can see also White Ra getting nice coverage of his um, 
pylons here. I'm pretty sure you heard the Nidus worms as they appeared in the top and bottom islands. So he's just putting these pylons here in order to be able to make sure no Niduses do appear in the uh, corners of his base. So actually, that's a really good point. You do actually hear Nidus and plus three weapons actually going up for White Rao as well, really keeping on top of these upgrades, but also plus two weapons going up for the flyers of Dimaga. And also we do see, where is it? There we go, an in-base hatchery as well as these two Evo chambers up for White uh, Dimaga at this point. So nice, a lot of stalkers here going to be providing a lot of bother for these mutes, although these mutes are coming into the back of the base. It seems like... Dimag is a bit pissed off here. Got this observer in a nice position here, going to be blinking up to the high ground. And these mutants are going to be forced to move back at this point. Otherwise, these stalkers are going to do a lot of damage right here. Nice use of blink here at this point. Um, and it seems like actually these stalkers could prove a lot of bother. Dimag are desperately trying to move a few spines up into the bay, his main base. But this is the problem. I think that Dimag are committed too much to not only the double expansion. But oh my god, actually, that's a lot of muters. This could be really bad for White Rat at this point. Blinking back a lot of the wounded ones. Nice use of Blink Micro there. He really needs to take out as many of these muters as possible. And if he can do, he's going to be in a really good position here. Moving in, more Stalkers here, blinking up to the high ground. And he does take out all those muters. So, again, really nice use of Blink here. And Blink does seem to be triumphant against these muters. Nice Blink Micro and Dimag does GG. And White Rat is victorious in this best of three. So that was nice to see. I'm glad that White Rao was victorious. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast one of my games to show you how I deal with 1.6k Zergs. I'm not, I'm, I know it's not the same as fighting freaking Dimaga or whatever, but you know a lot of my viewers are you know lower than Diamond, etc., etc. So you know it'd be a nice learning tool. So thank you very much for watching this, guys, and I hope you tune into my game to see what I do against Zerg. Farewell.